I was thinking one day, what can I do for the community? I've always liked the elderly people. I'm very compassionate about them. So I got on the phone one day and I called Lana and I told her that I'd like to do something. So we both come up with the idea that we would do an arrangement of flowers and perhaps a smile balloon to go along with it. So we start on January the 26th and uh, we went out and I did 12 deliveries that day. And again on February the 2nd we did another 12. So a uh, couple of the long-term care homes don't allow anything in, um, but we're trying to figure something else that we could take into them or get into them, not flowers. Um, we have gone to a couple of the other long-term care homes, uh, retirement homes, and just seniors who live in town, living alone. The reaction has been absolutely amazing. Um, more than I ever anticipated. The seniors, the calls that I get afterwards, um, they don't feel like they're so alone. The smile balloon makes them feel like they have somebody sitting at their dining room table. Um, just making them feel so comfort. The smile on their face has just been absolutely amazing and so gratifying to myself. We're going to continue monthly and if people know people, they can call Tracy or myself and give us a name of somebody that needs a little pick-me-up. It's hard enough to be a senior on your own, um, but at this time when you can't have visitors and that sort of thing, um, I just felt that put a little smile on their face and hopefully bring some light to the end of this tunnel. And actually uh, between Lynn and myself, we've had uh, about $875 in donations come in, something neither her nor I, I don't think ever expected, um, sort of took this journey thinking that we would kind of do it on our, uh, ourselves. Um, and yeah, the response has been absolutely incredible and I cannot thank the community enough for that. Thank you so much.